What is up everybody? It is your boy Nick Noodles coming at you with another great video and this is going to be a little bit of a longer one because I'm going to be covering in depth on how to bot the Supreme Dunks next week as well as just talk about the release in general, what's going to go down, and give you my advice. So definitely stay tuned. I hope you all get some good information out of this video. But before we get started, I have to get a little bit sensitive up in here because we just hit 2,000 subscribers on this channel, which has been a huge milestone of mine for... I don't know how long I've been on YouTube. We're actually getting close to, I think, the one year anniversary when I started re-uploading on this channel. Um, shout out to the people who are still watching from the Minecraft Let's Play days. Um, you are a real one for that. But we are gonna be doing a huge giveaway for 2,000 subs on my Instagram. So definitely follow that account. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I wanted to do a trivia thing, but a lot of people want it to be some type of random number generator, which isn't as fun in my opinion, but um, we'll see. I might do a mix of both. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about these dunks because this is probably going to be one of the most anticipated Supreme releases of the year and also probably sneaker releases of the year. And these dunks, if you don't know, are a remake of an older Supreme dunk that they did back in 2003. I have it pulled up on StockX right now and these things are pretty beautiful, but they're also at $6,500, which is insane. Um, no, these dunk lows aren't going to be at $6,500 day one, but we are going to get into that. Now, there are four different colorways releasing. There's a green pair, a brown pair, a black pair, and a royalish blue or just a blue pair. I don't know what adjective they put in front of the color, but those are the four colors. <laughs> Stock is rumored to be pretty high, um, but if there is one thing that I know about accounts claiming stock is high, 90% um, of the time it's either wrong or two. It doesn't matter, you know, how much stock there is because for this release, there's going to be so much demand that um, it's going to be very hard to get and resale is still going to be very, very good. These are supposed to release next Thursday, March 4th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is 8 a.m. for the West Coast boys. I'm sorry that you're going to have to wake up pretty early in the morning to probably take an L on the Supreme website. But hey, at least y'all have legal weed. Am I right? There will probably be a smaller release on the Sneakers app. Maybe, I'm not really sure, but even if they do have it, it's going to be extremely limited on the sneakers app compared to Supreme. So I think your best option is to try and go for this first come first serve release on Supreme's website. Looking at resale prediction, um, you know, they're all sitting above 1000 right now in terms of sales and highest bids. I don't think they're going to hold up this well after the release. They're definitely going to dip down a little bit, especially if the stock is as high as 20 to 50,000 pairs. However, um, because this design is so iconic, it is definitely going to slap on the resale market. I see these settling around four to five hundred dollars. Um, I really can't see these going less than like three hundred dollars, like bricking like that. And if they do, scoop up as many of these as you can because in about ten years or so, these are going to be at that sixty-five hundred dollar price tag. Um, but yeah, four to five hundred dollars is probably the price range. I don't really know what size to go for, honestly. I mean, smaller sizes seem to do a lot better for dunk lows, um, but those are probably going to be a lot more limited. So I would go for the more general sizes. Sizes 8 to probably 10 are probably going to be the best selling ones that are, you know, best to get. Um, sizes 10 to like 13 or 14 might not sell as well, but maybe they'll be easier to get. I don't know. I personally recommend going random sizing and random colors. Um, I'm not really sure which color is going to sell out fastest. It could be the green one because maybe it's the loudest. There's a lot of reverse psychology going on out there. Uh, because a lot of people are sleeping on this, maybe they think it's going to sell out last. They're going to prioritize that. But in reality, if everyone is going for this shoe because it's going to sell out last or they think it's going to sell out last, it's actually going to sell out first. Mind blown. Um, so that's pretty much the entire release. Let me know if you have any questions about it, but it is pretty simple. It's going to be first come, first serve. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time next Thursday. Uh, so before we talk about setting up a bot, you know, how to get it and everything you're going to need, you're going to want to, you know, have the manual side of things down. One, it helps you understand Supreme's checkout process. And two, um, manual, I think, is just more reliable in general than botting, um, especially if you've done it for like a few weeks or maybe a few seasons at this point. Um, you have the muscle memory down pack with the mouse clicks, with the refreshes and all that stuff. Um, so I highly recommend just going manual because you never know what type of anti-bot protection Supreme is going to have. They could have no bot protection. They could have every single bot protection known to man. They could have James Jebbia knocking on your door during the release, distracting the botters from copying. 
I don't really know what they're going to do. I will say there is probably a high chance that this website is going to absolutely brick. Um, so, you know, don't be surprised if it's super laggy, if you can't navigate the website. As long as you don't see people saying it's sold out, you might as well keep trying. Also, botting does not guarantee you a pair. I want to make that very, very clear. Um, you know, you can buy a $1,300 Supreme bot. You can buy a $5,000 Supreme bot. Um, but it does not guarantee you success. It, you know, dramatically increases your odds, but it never is a 100% success rate. So let's talk about the bot. Now, there's a lot of different options out there. There's a lot of different ways to get one. These are my recommendations. So if you want the top tier bot, you're going to want to go with MechPreme or Velox. I will personally be using Velox. I've used it in the past, and I really like its UI. I've never used Mech, but I know that it is considered the king of Supreme. Uh, Mech did a little bit better, I think, week one than Velox did. But because it was week one, you know, a lot of these devs didn't really know what to expect. So I do have confidence that Velox is going to fix whatever they need to to be good for this upcoming week. I will say, though, that Mech is definitely the king of restocks on Supreme. If you've ever seen a restock on like a hyped item and you go to click on it and it's not even, you know, showing the restock, it's because a Mech user literally took it in second. If you're going to do a weekly rental on a bot, uh, definitely go for max so you can run restocks but if you're just going for the initial release and you don't really care about restocks i would just get whatever's cheaper again i'm using velox but you should do a little bit more research maybe see what works for other people maybe if you're in a cook group they can help you decide uh but yeah those are the top tier bots you want to look at i really wouldn't look at any other bots but those two there's also swift soul um this is probably the most budget friendly bot and one that you can own for the entire season and Swift Soul, you know, it's kind of my baby. Like I started off botting with Swift Soul and it has cooked a lot for me. It definitely has potential, but it seems like each week it either completely cooks or it completely flops, or maybe it completely cooks in Europe, but it completely flops in the US. Uh, so do keep in mind that it is a little bit inconsistent, but who knows, maybe if you have a bunch of extra credit cards laying around or you have virtual credit cards, you can run a few tasks on Swift Soul. Um, that's probably the best strategy is to run on a bunch of different bots and go manual. Their user base is extremely enormous right now. So keep in mind, you know, even though you have Swift Soul on your phone and it's like really cool to own a bot, so do about 40 or 50,000 other people. So they're running the same setup as you. So it's pretty much just comes down to luck if the app is actually working. Now, there's two different ways to get an actual bot if you're not getting Swift Soul, and that is to rent or to buy it. Now, renting is super easy. I'm going to show you how to do it on Botmart. So you just, you know, go to their website, sign up for a membership. It's $10 for three months, which is honestly a steal, especially if you're trying to get into botting and you want to rent a bunch of different stuff in a legit manner. Um, this is the way to do it. But once you're in the Discord, look on the left side and there's a bunch of channel options now. Uh, you're going to want to find the Velox or the Mech section and look for a rental sell. Now, these are people, you know, trusted users that haven't been reported for scamming yet that are um, renting out their bots for you to use. Now, what you want to look for on these rentals are two things. One, that they have Twitter references and two, that they offer guides or support for you. So like this one right here, he is offering a $60 um, rental fee so you pay them $60 and I guess you get to use it for the day I don't think that's for the week otherwise it'd be more expensive um, but they do have Twitter references they do have guides provided um, if you click on their name you can probably get their Twitter maybe um, okay they don't have their Twitter linked uh, maybe this guy has a Twitter yeah, so this guy right here has his Twitter link, so... All right, so once, the, once you have their Twitter up, they're going to have some type of pin tweet that has all their references, so just look through this list. Make sure they're legit or they do legit business. I would definitely have them message you off the account as well because they could be claiming someone else's references as their own, so definitely have them DM you. Um, now, once you found a seller that you think is legit... I don't really think you need a middleman if they have a bunch of good references, uh, but if you want to pay the extra dollars to get it, then by all means do it. So with renting, it's definitely lower risk because if the bot flops, you only lost about 40 to $50 um, compared to if you bought it for like 900 or 1200. Now buying is a little bit more of a commitment that you have to make. The prices of bots are extremely volatile. Right now, Velox's average is 952 in the last month and mech is 1100 um and you know that could change next thursday depending on how these bots do if they do well their price is going to go up if they do bad their price is going to go down 
Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. It can definitely be a double-edged sword, especially if you want to buy it in the future. You could save a little money if it flops, but you could also be paying more. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money, but definitely think about it uh, before you commit to it. Now, the next thing you need for botting Supreme is multiple payment options, and Supreme only lets you get one item per credit card. It doesn't matter how many colorways are releasing, it is still one. So there's four dunks. If you hit the blue pair with one credit card, you can't get any more dunks regardless of the color with that same credit card. So if you only have one credit card, it's really not worth it to bot because at the most you can only get one pair of dunks. And the point of botting is really to get as many as you can. So if you only have one card, definitely just go manual on the site. You'll have way better odds, I think. Uh, but the real beauty of botting is that if you have like 10 credit cards, you can go for 10 plus pairs while you're going on the site manual. In order to do this though, in order to um, have multiple orders go through, you have to one, again, use a different card. You have to jig your street address. This means just, <clears throat> this means changing small things in it, like changing street to ST or adding a bunch of different random letters in front of it. If you live in a house, you can even add like an apartment number and that'll help change it a little bit. I do this all the time and I don't have any problems with delivery. It even shows up on like UPS My Choice, even though it's like not the exact address. You need a different email address um, and you also need a different phone number. The phone number doesn't even have to be legit. Like you can type in random numbers and it'll still go through. You have to change all of these. Otherwise you will get a duplicate error. Um, so even if you change everything but like the phone number, it's still going to detect that you have ordered the item before and it won't let you check out. Now some ways to get more cards. Uh, if you don't have them, or to one, ask family and friends if you can borrow them for the release. You know, maybe say, hey, can I use your credit card information? And if they trust you, maybe you pay them 20 bucks if you check out for them. Um, that is definitely a legit way to get them. Capital One Eno has virtual credit cards. Citibank has virtual credit cards that work. PayPal Key um, is a virtual card through PayPal that works. You can only get one of them, though. That kind of sucks. Privacy cards do not work on Supreme. Don't try it. You're going to get a bunch of ghost charges on your card and no checkouts. So do not waste your time with privacy cards. They do not work on Supreme. The last thing you absolutely need are good Gmail accounts. So if you don't have good Gmails, you're going to have to solve captures during the release. And this is especially bad if you're going manual on the site because you don't want to be trying to check out manual and then your bot has a capture pop up because then that's subtracting time from the bot checkout as well as your manual checkout. Uh, so Supreme uses the V2 Invisible Captcha, and what this means is whatever you know Chrome browser you're on, whatever Gmail is linked to it, if you have a good trust score, you will not have to solve any captchas whatsoever on Supreme's website. But let's say you have a bad trust score for whatever reason, this mainly only applies to the bot if you have a bad like captcha solver with a bad Gmail. Um, you're going to have to solve captchas, and they are going to slow you down. On some of these items that take you know 5 to 10 seconds to sell out, that two seconds, two or three seconds you spend solving a CAPTCHA, if you're that fast, is the difference between taking a W and taking an L. Um, you should have at least one good Gmail account. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video on, just use this Gmail account whenever you're either botting or on the Supreme website. Now, I personally test my Gmails and farm them in AYCD, which I'm planning on making a video on them, but I will provide a link in the description where you can check your one-click status as well. Just click on the link if you have to solve a CAPTCHA then you're kind of screwed. But if you don't, then you do have one click Gmail status. You really only need one good Gmail account per seven to eight tasks. So for most people, you only need one account. But if you're running several different cards, several different profiles and several different tasks, you're going to want to have as many as you can. Even if you're only running seven to eight, it doesn't really you know, hurt to have as many one clicks as possible, uh, but you can definitely get away with just having one if you're not running that many tasks. The last part is proxies, which are kind of optional. And honestly, a lot of ISPs and data center proxies are banned on Supreme right now. They just don't work for whatever reason and they get clipped very, very easily. Uh, so I highly recommend just using your local host IP. Uh, most bots will let you run like five to six tasks, I think on your local host. I think I saw someone on mech using like 20 or 30 tasks on their local host. I don't know how they didn't get IP banned from that. Uh, so definitely check with your bot provider or whoever you're renting from to see how many you can run on your local host. If you're running Swift Soul, I highly recommend just running off data so that you don't risk, you know, banning your home IP address. Residential proxies seem to be working pretty good on the Supreme website. So if you have access to those, then I would recommend using those. Um, unless you know for a fact that your ISP provider is going to work on Supreme, but a lot of them aren't 
like actually guaranteeing it right now. I really can't vouch for any other proxies other than hollow proxies because that's what I've been using. They are a private group though, so if you're not in it, unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to use their services. Um, but maybe someone in the comments can comment down below what they're using or if you've had success. Definitely, you know, if you want to share your setup with us. That's pretty much everything you need to bot Supreme. You need the bot, multiple payment options, good Gmails. It's really, really simple to bot Supreme. And if you're not really going for restocks, this release will be over in like five minutes max. It's not like a foot site drop where you have to sit at your computer for like two hours. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and walk through how I'm going to set up blocks or how to set up a bot. And while this is pretty specific to my bot, um, it really can be applied to any bot that you're setting up. So the first thing you want to do is set up a profile. So in Velox, you have this new profile button right here. You put all your information in. Um, on Supreme, you can't have separate billing. The shipping and the billing have to be the same. And yeah, so this is just an example address. Next, you know, you can insert your proxies if you want. Uh, but again, I really just recommend using local host. Um, after that, we can go into creating a task. So with Supreme, uh, usually on the bot, you'll select a store. There'll be different modes depending on your bot. Uh, there's usually a fast mode, which is really good for restocks. And then they have like a safe and like a browser mode for initial. I'm probably going to be running a mix of safe and browser. Uh, for keywords, this is going to be provided to you by the bot. For Velox, you just type in the keyword that you think is going to go into the item, they will usually provide it. Sizing, again, highly recommend random sizing. A good thing about random sizing is that if you go for random sizing and the item goes out of stock, it can go for any other you know size or color. But let's say I go for a size 9 specifically. If the size 9 sells out, the task is going to be stuck on that size, so it's not going to go for whatever's in stock. Um, it's only going to be looking at that size 9. For color, again, you can just leave it blank, I think, for Velox. For category, you would pick shoes, but for this example, I'll use sweatshirts. Um, profile, again, just pick whatever you have set up. Proxies, if you're going to use proxies, you would select them here, but I'm going to use localhost. And that's pretty much the task setup. You can put a timer on it, but I would just manually start it, honestly, especially if you're not running that many. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go to your capture window. Uh, so right here in Velox, you would hit add account. Um, sign into your Gmail. If you have a proxy link to it, like when you farm it, then you would hit, you would put it in there. If you're just using one Gmail on your local host, which should be enough, then you don't have to put anything in that. And then you would save it. Um, one thing that you can do before the release. Uh, so if I pull up my CAPTCHA solver here, that's actually signed in. Um, usually 30 minutes before the release, you want to watch some YouTube videos to generate a little bit of activity. It helps you get one clicks a little bit easier, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal if you already have one click status. So 20 to 30 minutes before the release, open up your CAPTCHA solver, start watching YouTube videos. When it's time for the release, just pause the video and then switch it back to the CAPTCHA solving mode. Next, you can go into your settings for checkout. So in Velox, there's actually no checkout delay that you set. In some other bots, I know in Mech, there is a checkout delay. Listen to whatever your bot provider says to use. If you put the delay too low, especially on initial, you're going to get an instant card decline. Uh, but if you're running restocks later in the week, you can definitely just have the checkout delay at zero and you pretty and you should be fine. Um, for monitor delay, I usually run 500, but the Velox Discord says you can run it as low as 300. Uh, definitely be careful with that. You don't want to run it at 300 or 500 for like 10 minutes. Otherwise, you do risk getting it banned. I'm probably going to do 500. Retry and timeout, I really don't play with those as much. I recommend starting task about 30 seconds before the release. You just hit the start button right here. You're going to see it says initializing ticket. That is Supreme's anti-bot protection. Um, waiting for product, waiting for restock uh, because it's not in stock, it's out of stock. But um, yeah, that's pretty much setting up a bot, everything you need to bot Supreme. Um, this was a little bit of a longer video, so if you made it to the end, you're definitely a real one. If you have any questions about Botting Supreme, definitely leave a comment down below. I have a bunch of other videos on this channel on how to go manual on Supreme, how to use Swift Soul, how to get restocks, and a lot of other botting content. So definitely check out those videos if you're more interested in botting. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.